My dear child, the very fact that you are here listening to these words is a testament to the strength of your faith. Your presence in this moment demonstrates your unwavering commitment to seeking my guidance and love. You have chosen to open your heart and mind to receive the message I have for you today, and that is a beautiful display of your trust in me. As you listen to these words, know the blessings. I am about to bestow upon you are meant specifically for you. Your faith has brought you to this point, and it is your faith that will carry you through the challenges and triumphs that lie ahead. You have shown your dedication to walking with me, and I am honoring that by speaking directly to your heart. So take a deep breath and allow my words to wash over you. Let them fill you with the peace, comfort, and assurance that can only come from a deep connection with your Heavenly Father. Your strong faith has led you here, and it is that same faith that will enable you to receive the abundant blessings. I have in store for you, Remember, my child, you are not here by accident. Your presence is a result of your continuous seeking, your unwavering belief, and your sincere desire to grow closer to me. As you listen to this message, know that I am speaking directly to you, and the promises I make are meant for you to hold close to your heart, so let your faith be strengthened even more as you absorb these words. Allow them to take root in your soul and guide you on the path. I have laid out for you. Your faith has brought you this far, and it will continue to be the foundation upon which I will build a life of purpose, joy, and abundance for you now with an open heart and a receptive spirit. Listen carefully to the message I have for you today. These blessings are yours to receive, and your strong faith has made this moment possible. My beloved child trusts in the words. I speak to you the challenges you faced will fade away and the sorrow burdening your soul will disappear never to return. If you simply believe in my miraculous power, a fresh wellspring of courage and joy will arise within you and hold fast to this faith. You will never be alone in this world, for my love will always be with you both day and night. I repeat these words to you daily so that your very being will know with certainty that there is a God in heaven who shields you from life storms, keeping you secure and cherished. Speak aloud the word trust, contemplate its meaning, and keep it in your thoughts. I desire all of you to learn to believe and trust with your whole heart. Believe me when I say that I love you. Demonstrate your faith to me now, and when you find yourself surrounded by troubles and worries, feeling as though everything is crumbling around you, remember that I am asking for your trust. Bring your requests to me, and I will supply your needs and have confidence that I will answer you. And trust me with your dreams your innermost desires and your aspirations, and I will be right beside you, directing your path. I will not leave your side for even a moment. 
I am not distracted by trivial matters when you are struggling to call out to me, and I will listen when life becomes overwhelming and find solace in my presence. I am here to ease your worries and bring tranquility to your heart. Do not think of me as distant for, in my eyes. You are precious and one of a kind as you journey through life, gaze up at the sky. The radiant sun and the gentle clouds remind you of how much you mean to me. Always remember that with faith and trust in me, all things are possible. Embrace the blessings available to you today. Peace, love, security, forgiveness, understanding, warmth, patience, and comfort. These are all yours. Know that I am willing to do whatever is necessary to ensure that you live in peace, to give you strength in times of difficulty, and to fill your heart with courage. Do not be afraid, for each day you will awaken refreshed, and with a new perspective proceed confidently and climb to the summit of that mountain. No challenge that life presents will be too great for you to overcome. That is why you must trust in me. Nourish your mind with my teachings and allow the spark of the divine gift. I have given you to burn brighter. You will receive abundant blessings so that you may be a blessing to others. Your enemies will see you and turn away as they witness my holy angels surrounding and protecting you. The forces of darkness will hesitate to confront you for this is the spiritual height to which I desire to raise you. So come listen to me today and return again tomorrow. Allow me to engrave this message anew upon your heart each day. It is my intention that these words instill unwavering courage within you tonight when you close your eyes. You will meet me once more, your spirit will be renewed and your afflictions will be healed as you hear as you hear my voice comforting your soul in your dreams. I will visit you. I will speak with you about the great plans and wonders. I will accomplish in your life, rise up, move forward, and march ahead with confidence for success and blessings await you on the horizon. Abundant prosperity and divine wisdom are yours. I will place you among kind-hearted people who, who, who will support you and countless opportunities will unfold before you. Do not miss a single chance. Use this energy to embark on new ventures. Focus on gaining knowledge and working hard. I have high hopes for you as you grow spiritually. Your education should also progress. Pay attention to my words and be prepared, both you and your family. I am leading you to unfamiliar places where you will need to communicate in different languages. You will travel far and wide. But always remember the source of your blessings and never forget the essential word trust. Ignore those who spread negativity, wasting their time, seeking reasons to reject my message and refusing to trust in me. Choose to walk with me. Instead, be cautious of insincere friends who flatter you with kind words while harboring ill intentions. They do not deserve your happiness and will attempt to separate you from me. When you encounter difficulties, come to me. When you are weary, speak to me. 
If you have any doubts or needs, remember that I am always here, ready to listen and to show you my love. A bright future filled with blessings lies ahead of you, but always keep in mind that your heart belongs to me, and I seek your loyalty, faith, dedication, and trust. I have the final say in all matters, so you can be assured that your life is secure in my hands. I will not disappoint you. People may have their opinions and say things about you, but they cannot harm you. Their words will have no effect on you. I love you. You will not stumble or be defeated. Instead, you will prosper. I will heal you of any illness and bless your family with abundance and peace. Now is your time, which is why my voice reaches you who said that you cannot change. They are lying to you with jealousy in their eyes and envy written on their faces. They told you that you would remain the same, that you would only worsen. That failure was your only option and that you deserve nothing but you chose to draw closer to me, and although you initially felt unworthy of my love and doubted that I would ever notice you, you discovered that my words, my faithfulness, and my presence are genuine. Heaven showers you with an abundance of love washing away the contempt you once felt. I have replaced your heart and mind with one that is pure and tender, ready to love and embrace life. You are innocent, yet as strong as a warrior. Your past no longer defines you. So embrace your new self enriched with wisdom and patience. I bring you peace and your role is to pray and strive to eliminate old harmful habits and thoughts my protection and care surround you day and night and even in the darkest times do not fear falling for my light forms an unbreakable shield around you open your heart to me Prepare yourself for transformation and welcome my Holy Spirit, who will guide you to the truth. He will shape and mold you just as a potter shapes clay, fear and doubt have no place in you. Your heart has room only for my love. Do not give in to worry or certainty, for you are love, the promises. I have made to you are coming to pass, and my plans will prevail. I have the final say in all things, and am always by your side. Trust in my unchanging nature as solid as a rock and unaffected by the influence of others. Take a moment to pause and breathe in the heavenly peace. I offer especially when time is short and you must go carry this tranquility with you and leave your worries with me at times. You may feel undeserving, but my commitment to you remains steadfast out of love. My view of you has not changed. You desire to come closer to me, yet you hesitate. When it comes to releasing the burdens that cause you unrest, doubts creep in, and you find yourself still carrying that heavy load of resentment. Listen to my voice and lend your ear to this sweetness that heals you allow me to write and weave my word into your soul. Hear me say I love you. You are free and I tenderly hold you in my hands today. You may face many challenges on your journey, but wherever you go, listen once more, feel it. 
I will be with you whispering these words into your ears, healing you so that you will not forget me, drift away, or let your emotions deceive you. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. God is saying to you today, this is just the beginning you have so much more to do and discover. I know it feels like you should be further along by now, but be patient with yourself. Good things take time, and there is no need to rush this beautiful journey. You are to take each day as it comes and make the most of it rest, easily knowing that things are falling into place and everything is coming together just like how you hope. They would in your mind. Don't waste any of your precious breaths comparing your progress to anyone else. Inspiration goes so much further than comparison. And you're far too special and unique to measure your success by external factors. Good things take time and my dear, you're destined for the extraordinary. Type, I am evolving to affirm. Keeping an accepting and tolerant outlook on other people is crucial. I just wanted to say thanks to all. You've done to make my life better for everything that you have done. I am eternally grateful your patience with me is appreciated even though I know I am unworthy of your love. Please know how much I appreciate all you've done to brighten my life. It's worth taking a moment to express my gratitude. Please know that the Father who is everlasting is revered and glorified by me. You are esteemed, the redemption God has in store, for you can sneak up on you unexpectedly in accordance with your intentions. The door should be positioned so that it closes properly when it opens again, even if it is already closed in this way. We know the door won't be unlocked. Are you going to swear that you're not completely crazy? Like and share this video to express your support if you agree with God. While it's conceivable that some may go, the fact that their presence is anticipated means that there's no need for concern. That this may happen, all things work together for the enjoyment of those who love God and believe that He has a purpose for their lives. As far as we can tell, stay hopeful. God is listening. Stay with me. I'm going ahead. You have my advantage. Protecting and caring for the important individuals in my life is something you have my undivided attention to remember the request. I made it please so that it may triumph over all of the challenges and hurdles it is now encountering. Please lend it a helping hand. I really hope and pray that each passing day will only help to deepen the connections between you and the people in your lives. Indeed, we pray in response to Jesus Christ's invitation, the joy that is about to be yours is completely out of proportion to the pain that you have endured, so far compared to what is ahead for you. It is completely nothing we will provide you with further information. What is ahead for you is quite different from the difficulties you have been facing. It is recommended that I dispatch an angel before your journey to watch over you, guide you, and provide you with the location. 
I have planned this is important because I will send a guardian angel to help you. Please be attentive because I will soon send an angel to stand before you. Please make sure you are prepared for it. Please put people in my life who are intended to be with me. And please get rid of those who aren't a good fit as soon as possible. Pay attention to the people who should be a part of my life. I have high hopes that you will guide me to your love and provide me the pleasure that you promise. I also hope you can answer yes when I ask whether you will be able to satisfy me within the context of Jesus Christ's call, we pray. Even if no one is paying attention to what I'm going through right now, there are a number of situations in which people's ability to view certain types of data is restricted. Everything that I am experiencing is known to God. I have helped you in the past, and you can be sure that I am helping you now, the Lord responds. I promise that I will never leave your side. You can show your love and blessings by giving thanks up to $100. This text is clear as day to all who trust in God. You're going to have an experience next week that will, in one way or another, blow your mind as you will finally be able to receive something for which you have been waiting a long time. You should take advantage of this chance. 222, being receptive to learning something completely new, is essential trust that God has set out a certain time window for you to come even though. It's not when we'd like it to be. This can be the critical moment, but now isn't the best time for us to be together. That being said, it does not follow that this is the moment we would have chosen for ourselves. Type 222 if you were a believer. Thought-provoking but courteous, the phrase serves, as a gentle reminder that God's schedule is always better than our idea of good timing. Anything that they say should be accepted without question, especially if it comes from a higher authority. You don't need confirmation from others to know that you've arrived if you've won the lottery. If God has made it clear to you that something is yours, then you have every right to claim ownership of it. God has promised that whatever He promises will occur exactly as He has spoken. We believe that the Word of God is reliable because of this. God alone has the authority to determine how quickly or slowly time passes in any way, shape, or form. The world will do whatever it takes to give you. The life you've always dreamed of because it thinks you deserve good things to happen to you. This is because the world feels that you should have good things happen to you. This is due to the fact that the world is trying to manifest the positive things that it desires for you. Talk about how you felt. The talk went and provide your viewpoint on it. Give up berating yourself for things that aren't truly important in the grand scheme of things. Keep your self-esteem high. Your dissatisfaction shouldn't come from things that are beyond of your control or things that don't need your attention. Now is the time to rediscover happiness and everything that life has to offer. Now is the moment for you to act. Thank you 
for all of your hard work. It's time to live life to the fullest and treat yourself to a reward. The world will grant your desires if they are sincere. Desire is the sole prerequisite. In addition to an endless supply of money, everyone in your near neighborhood has showered you with love and support. Angel's message if we buy into the lie that happiness is any number of endless. Pursuits besides Christ, we're doomed to unhappiness because we're pursuing the wrong things. But when we believe that ultimate happiness and transcendent joy are to be found only in God, then we will for a time turn off all our screens, all texts and social media and movies and TV, and open the Word of God, asking His Spirit to speak joy into our lives. God is saying to you today, you are meant to go through this lesson, not fly over it or dig your way underneath it. Right through it, through the fire, through the pain, through the fear. The desire you have to get better and grow is a sign that you're in a good place. The urge you have to listen and value. Your gut feelings are a sign that you have already grown from the lesson. Being aware of the process and knowing that it's a temporary obstacle that is challenging you to grow and get better is a sign that you've already won trust the process. All is well. You aren't ever give more than you can handle. Remember that. Type, I'm gentle with myself to affirm. God says, you are safe, you are protected. The worst is behind you, and you are ready to move beyond the challenges that were set out for you. Lessons have been learned. Cords are being cut between you and your past so that you can feel energetically clear. Don't worry about recalling fearful experiences. They aren't going to be recreated now. Just acknowledge them and leave them behind so you can step into a space of personal freedom. There is a force field of complete love and acceptance around you. You no longer need to build up walls around your heart. It is safe to trust your path. This has been really genuine. The only way to get the news out is to share this video. Ignoring the floor giving way and the mountains plunging into the ocean, the water foaming and screaming, and the floor shaking from the waves. We will not be frightened in this incarnation. You were well known for making the right comment in front of a large number of people. The moment to answer that call has come any kind of life you choose is within your reach as you engage in this righteous conflict. Live a life according to your faith. Seize the moment so that it remains forever the call of God is upon you. I want to find someone who can really soothe my spirit. He is my greatest desire and the one I can trust the most. God is my refuge and strength. He is the reason. I can calm my nerves because He created me. I may not be able to go on from my current position if I am being truthful. He is my stronghold for all my needs. God is a solid foundation because God is our safe haven. My redemption and renown are in His hands. You must always trust in Him and pray to Him from the bottom of your heart. 
Being genuine is essential in love and tackling tough situations by concentrating on the good. Instead of the bad is a good strategy to prioritize your loved ones and close friends before yourself, too. You should never feel like you're running out of juice when serving the Lord. Instead, keep your spiritual fire burning by being joyful in your desire, moved by your suffering and committed to your prayers. As you place your confidence in the God of hope, may his perfect joy and tranquility also overflow upon you. I know exactly what I've planned for you, schemes to make your life easier so it will be easier for me to give you hope in the future. So I pray that the Holy Spirit will also all anoint you with desire and wish as you put your trust in God. If you call on my name, I will be found by you in your search, and if you come to worship me, I will give your words much consideration in your quest for me, and you will discover my presence. If you would only tell me what your problems are, God says I can solve them. No problem is too big or too little for me to handle, and I can provide you with eternal serenity. You must persevere unwaveringly in the face of increasing adversity. Relax in the knowledge that your prayers have been heard. That good things will come to pass and that the weight of the world will lift off your shoulders when you know that you are in God's loving presence. You're in good hands. There is no need to be concerned about anything. I promise to respond. Don't allow doubt to creep in trust that I will act at the perfect moment. Wait patiently, keeping your eyes fixed on the blessings that are on their way. My promises are unshakable and my word endures forever. My power is actively at work in your life, fueled by your faith and commitment. Your faith is the key to unlocking more miracles. Embrace the blessings I send your way and don't fall back into old patterns of feeling unworthy or lacking faith. Your faith has already brought about significant changes in your life. You've seen prayers answered and your heart growing stronger. Even if your faith feels small like a mustard seed, it impresses me greatly. Keep holding tightly to my hand as we approach your breakthrough. Great things lie ahead. Dreams to pursue and purposes to fulfill show your faith by trusting in my words and guarding your speech from negativity. Don't allow others to see oh seeds of doubt in your mind. Remember, I am the God who gave you life and your future is secure in my hands. My plans for you will come to pass. I have decided that you will thrive start each day with the mindset of a victor. I am giving you the strength to overcome obstacles, transform your life and reclaim your vitality and well-being. Yes, I have the power to heal you, but it's important that you also value and care for your health. Your family has a bright future ahead. They are as precious to you as your own life, and your dedication to them is one of the reasons I have given you so much strength. Your children may frustrate you at times with their disobedience, but know that deep within their souls are crying out. They recognize their mistakes, and just as you have asked, I am working in their lives, their secret. 
tears over their negative attitudes are nurturing a small seed that will one day spread route leading them to acknowledge their errors and seek your forgiveness. When that day comes, you will weep tears of joy, seeing the fruit of your perseverance. Your efforts are not in vain. Embrace life for joy is coming your way. You will see your loved ones overcoming their challenges and succeeding against all odds. My promises are being fulfilled. Come rest in my embrace. Don't allow your emotions or circumstances to overwhelm you. Leave your fears behind and after spending time in my presence. You'll find that those worries have no place in your heart. My presence brings peace and calms your soul. I am always here for you. My Holy Spirit will fill every corner of your mind and touch the hearts of those in your household. Who seek me relax and feel secure in my presence. I don't judge your outward appearance. I only see the beauty of the heart you have brought before me. Your soul radiates a brilliant light that illuminates everything around you. The flame of faith within you grows warmer. Each day I receive your love, cherish your trust and delight in your worship as you continue on your journey. Keep my words close to your heart when unexpected problems arise and worries try to invade your soul. Remember my promise, I dwell deep within your heart where no uninvited guest can enter those negative feelings, have no access to your inner being. Even though they may try to find a way in many around you, choose to live in constant worry, pushing me away. Despite my attempts to reach their hearts, they wander down misguided paths, neglecting their own well-being. And the needs of their families, they chase after illusions, forgetting the importance of putting me first in their lives. If you encounter such individuals, treat them with kindness, but don't allow them to sway your heart. Don't let their misguided ideas take root in your mind. Remember you belong to me and you are in a better place by my side. You now understand the profound love of a Heavenly Father who cherishes you deeply. I promise that you will always remain close to me. This holy and unconditional love cannot be found anywhere else. My beloved child, as you continue on your journey of faith, remember the principle of sowing and reaping. Just as a farmer plants seeds in the earth and patiently tends to them until the harvest, so too must you plant the seeds of faith, love, and obedience in your life. When you sow these seeds through your actions, words, and thoughts, you will reap a bountiful harvest of blessings, favor, and spiritual growth trust in my promise that as you seek me first and follow my ways, I will provide for your every need just as I provided manna from heaven for the Israelites in the wilderness. This daily bread sustained them on their journey to the promised land, and in the same way my love and grace will sustain you as you navigate the ups and downs of life. Remember the manna I provide may not always come in the form you expect it, may be a word of encouragement from a friend. 
an unexpected opportunity or a moment of peace in the midst of chaos learn to recognize and gratefully receive these daily provisions. Knowing that they come from my hand as you continue to see how seeds of righteousness and trust in my faithfulness. You will find that your life will be filled with the abundance of my love and grace. You will reap the rewards of a life devoted to me, both in this world and in the eternal life to come. So my child, keep sowing, keep believing and keep trusting in me. I am your loving Heavenly Father, and I will never leave you or forsake you. I will continue to pour out my blessings upon you, providing you with the daily manna you need to sustain you on your journey of faith. Walk in obedience, love others. As I have loved you and trust in my promise of provision as you do, you will experience the joy and peace that comes from a life surrendered to me. I love you, my child, and I am always with you, guiding you and providing you and providing for you every step of the way. Amen.